right, welcome back, you beautiful bastards, to Tottenham's Game of Thrones episode three. Tensions are rising, and we're only halfway. I mean, there's a sixth episode. Wow, breaking the norm, I see. Anyway, uh, Drakens. Great quote. Anyway, let's just get into it. Previously on Game of Thrones. To ensure there's no trouble, Lord Whitehill will install a garrison of 20 men within your walls. You have a man you trust? My son, Griff. I suppose the Crown could be persuaded to secure Ironwood from House Forrester. Lady Marjorie might not look favorably on such an alliance, and it would infuriate Cersei. Although, what would be amusing for me might prove rather dangerous for you and your house. Father, I'm going to kill you. Is that so? I'm glad I found you, my boy. It's been far too long. Who the fuck is he? My uncle. Roderick? Roderick, by the gods, it is you! Sir? Fetch the maester! Hurry! Fetch the maester! <laughs> Let her go! <laughs> Fuck you! You kill me. And the Lost Legion won't stop until you and your friend are dead. Yes, yes, all good choices. She's been gone a while. She'll come back. If they catch her, they'll kill her. They won't catch her. Ye of listen to It's time. It's just that we need to get to Marine. Every day we lose here is a day that Talia or Ryan could be hurt or, or, or worse. You must return home safely, Asher. And, well, you, you have a history of putting your faith in women who may not deserve it. Huh? What are you talking about? She's my friend, Uncle. She's been at my side for a long time. Was it them? The Lost Legion? Aye. Too many for us to take. I counted about two dozen, maybe more, as well as horses. <laughs> about half oh, yeah, a mile we down the do canyon, it. and coming fast. Had to run my ass off to avoid getting caught. <laughs> it's nearly empty. You two care if I finish it off? It might be a while before we find more water. <sighs> Dying, though. Nah. Drink up. Thanks. Right. We need to get moving. <sighs> the Lost Legion. We're a hundred miles from Yunkai. When are they going to give up? Never. There's still war about Tazal. Yes, well, perhaps you shouldn't have snapped his neck. There is such oh, a thing as overdoing it. He shouldn't have killed us, yeah, Not yeah. Not that I care about Tazal. Let me remind you, it was him who tried to kill us. I just returned the favor. Oh, don't doubt it. You always did have a gift for that sort of thing. It's only a matter of time before they overtake us. Ah, bugger a harpy. I'd rather not. Can we double back? Not without meeting our mates from Yunkai. We're well and truly fucked this time, Asha. Lee During severe winters, hey. when the Skahazadan floods, it carves what? out great underground Skahazadan. rivers in the sandstone. Um, what the hell? And 
That word's going to be on spelling bee, I bet. Those rivers become caves. And those caves might hide us. If we can find them. I mean, we're trapped for the moment, but... All I'm saying is we, we needn't die here. Just standing our ground. Thank you, Malcolm. That's valuable advice. Of course. If he's right about this, I may actually stab him. Well, first... Do we have anything new on the Codex? No, no, no. And no. Okay. Thought they would add something, but I guess not. Some rocks. Do you think we could dig our way through? Or we'll try to scramble over? No. I don't know. Either will be slow and tricky. One wrong move and the whole thing could collapse on us. Yes, be not. Well, we can't stay here, waiting for your butchered friends to corner us. Agreed. The faster we make a plan, the better. Hey, Beska. I meant to say, thank you. I realize this isn't your fight. Our Marine is the last place you'd want to go. God, Sasha. Don't go soft on me. Together till we're dead. Look, Malcolm's all right. I promise. He practically raised me. You know my father and I didn't get along. Well, he's an odd one. And he doesn't appear to like me much. He has a lot of things on his mind. The right things, I hope. You know anything else about these bastards hunting us? Well, obviously they hate you. Thanks. I figured that out on my own. You've heard the rumor, right? They carve their faces up as an initiation. Ooh. Flay the skin right off. Looks like they're inside Sounds out. Fun. That's why they wear those helmets. <laughs> no. That's a load of horse shit. Beska, if you see anything. Malcolm, what about you? You found anything? Not yet. What's on your mind? You see, Beska came back. She risked her life out there, for us. You trust her now? This may sound harsh, but Beska's immaterial. I have to put you first. You are all that matters to me, Asha. Beska matters to me. We all need to pull together if we're gonna get out of this and onto Marine. I can't have you and Beska scrapping. So much riding on this. Talia, Ryan, your mother. You and I are supposed to return to Westeros with a cell sword army, and I haven't the faintest idea how we're gonna pull it off. So, if I seem a bit moody, that's why. How do you know all that? About the floods and the caves? I read all about Essos on the voyage over. Histories of Marine, histories of Slaver's Bay. I just hope it pays off. Let me know if you find anything. What in seven hells did you two do to rile these bastards so badly anyway? Well... Back when Asher and I first started running together in Volantis, we had a disagreement with the Lost Legion's commander, and it didn't end well. You killed him? I cut his balls off. Of oh, course what? I did. Uh, uh, it's okay. not gonna happen. It's too unstable. And I am worth a try, worth a try. What do you think? Could we climb out of here? Pretty steep, Asha. And we'd be totally exposed if your friends arrived before we reached the top. Hmm. So is that a no? Oh, a corpse. Looks like we're not alone. No obvious wounds. Maybe he died of thirst. Listen. 
That's water. I hear water. From underground. There might be a cave nearby. Look at this. Oh. Gold. Fat lot of good it did him. I mean, take it. He's not going to need that. Asher, the Lost Legion will be here at any moment. This is yeah. Essos. There's always time for gold. Goddamn right. Oh, shit. It's them. Oh. Oh. Shit. Come on! Oh, Excuse me. Luckily, this was thick enough for my armor. Damn it! Asha! Find us another way out of here! Got it! But is there any other specks of gold? Seven hells is that smell. I can't even guess what this used to be. There's a light! Go! See if there's a way through! We'll hold them off! Oh! That's a bloody big too! Oh! Oh! Hey, Scar! How come? Hey, God, Drain, dude, is that worth something? Very vulnerable. Oh, God. Hmm. Hmm. Well, Malcolm is injured, so. That's more my thing. I was able to escape the dragon a little bit. She can last a little longer. Beska! Beska! Can you walk, Asha? We have to move now! Uh, I'm fine. You think I don't know pain? Get out of my way. Hurry! The beast is coming around!
Episode 3, The Sword in the Darkness. Listen up, you sorry lot. Gather round. We're handing out assignments today. Mm. Garrett. We'll be men of the watch before nightfall. Right. Sorry. No hard feelings over that business with Finn, yeah? I appreciate you not ratting me out over the knife. It's nice to know there's at least one brother I can trust. Finn might have killed me otherwise. Just promise me you'll stop stealing things, Cutter. All right. I swear it. Never again. Well, Show me no all your fingers. on potatoes or lamprey pie. Or for that matter. Them. <laughs> Just messing with you, Garrett. I promise. I'll mend my thieving ways. Well, aren't you two sons of whores looking thick as thieves? Having a good laugh over nicking my knife, eh, Garrett? Men like I you don't no... trade for nothing. It's Please. in your blood. <laughs> Next, you'll be killing men of the watch for a loaf of bread. I didn't take anything from you. No, but you protected the bastard who did. I defended You'll myself. You'll be an asshole, Garrett. You're just a fucking craven. Look, it's over, all right? Just drop it. You could bugger off if you like. Finn, leave him alone. It wasn't Garrett's fault. If you're gonna hate someone, hate me. With pleasure. Now, it doesn't matter what the world once called you. After today, you're all brothers. Could even be that the man standing next to you saves your life one day. Or maybe you'll save his. Let's find out then, shall we? Sure, we'll see. Casper to the builders. Finn to the rangers. Lobo to the stewards. Hugh to the rangers. Cotter to the builders. And finally, where? Garrett to the Rangers. Oh, that's it. May all the gods preserve you. Well, there we are. I'll be patching up the wall, and you'll be defending it. Should you Northern boys want your gods to give a blessing to this union, there's a weirwood tree beyond the wall. Now form up and follow my lead. Nice and toasty, I see. Garrett, it's good to hear you'll be a ranger. Thank you. I know you wanted this. I'm ready to say my vows. What are you looking at, Finn? I didn't have many friends when I first arrived at Castle Black. Grin and Pip, they'd as soon have seen me bloodied in the yard than offer a hand. Now, I'd die for either of them. Our brothers are all we have. Finn. Shows you what kind of ripe fools are running this place. I can't believe they made you a ranger. You're not fit for the job. You don't have any balls between your legs. Like it or not, we're brothers now. Means we're gonna have to get along. Don't count on it. You wouldn't even be here if you didn't have snow leading you by the hand the whole way. People might help you if you weren't such an asshole, Finn. I wouldn't have to be if you all weren't assholes, too. No one around here gives a shit about me. They wouldn't even care if I... Do you know how many rangers I never heard from again in these parts? And I'm about to become one myself. All alone out here. Wildlings everywhere. 
or wolves. Oh God, giant wolves. Then don't worry. You were born to kill wildlings. That jab you gave me the other day, it fucking hurt. I suppose you're right. You want a different assignment? Because I hear they need someone to clean the shit house. <laughs> <laughs> See, that's why I got so fucking mad at you, Garrett. You're the closest thing I have to a friend. Okay, well, that patched things up real quick. Totally really. You handled that well, Garrett. They say the old gods watch us through the weirwoods. More than watchers. They know us. The gods are not forgiving. We brothers have to be. We're here. After this, there's no going back. Now go. Take your vows. In the eyes of the old gods, the Night's Watch offers you a place beside us. Now say the words for all to hear and embrace us as your own. Ooh. A very ominous looking tree. This came out from a uh, uh, friggin... Wizard of Oz. Hope it doesn't start throwing apples at me. But, yes. Hear my, Hear my, my words. words. Okay, well, and bear witness, witness to my vow. Night, Night gathers, gathers. And, and now, now my, my watch, watch begins. begins. Should I read it as well? I mean, yeah, sorry. It uh, shall uh, not end. It shall, shall not end until, until my death. My death. I shall take no wives. I shall take, I shall take no, no wives. wives. No All no lands. Lands. No no Father, no children. Father, no children. I shall wear, I shall no, wear no crowns. I shall wear no win crowns no and wear no glory. I shall live. I shall, shall live at my post. my post. I, I am the sword, am sword of, of darkness. darkness. I am the watcher on the walls. Of the walls. Yes, yes. I am the shield, shield that, guards that guards the realms of men. Of men. I pledge my I life, pledge life and, and honor, honor to the Night's, to night's Watch for this, for this night and, and all, all the nights, nights to come. come. Yes, 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 I did it. Gesundheit. You knelt as boys. Always get sneeze. Rise now as men of the Night's Watch. Welcome to your new family, Garrett. We're made of the watch now. Means we get to piss off the wall whenever we want. Didn't know you needed an excuse to play with yourself, Finn. Garrett, you've got a visitor. Over there. Well, who is it? Do I look like your fucking squire? Hello, blacksmith. How John Snow's you? right about Man's Raider. We're going to need all the weapons we can make. Just say that out loud. Sir Royland used to make me sharpen all the blades that I. Guy's gonna think you're crazy. I'm gonna be honest. Anyway, Duncan. Don't forget the practice shot. Uncle Duncan. I don't go back of that head. Anyway. It's good to see you. They told me you were at the Weirwood Tree. Wasn't sure you'd be back in time. I'm glad I caught you. I've missed you, Uncle. I never expected to see you here. A business with the Night's Watch. A delivery of Ironwood shields to keep you all out of harm's way. That settles it then? Aye, the delivery looks in order. The gods do grant miracles. You look well, nephew. I'm told you're a ranger now. That's good. Uncle? 
Things aren't going well at Ironrath, Garrett. I know. I heard the news about Ethan. I was standing not five feet from him when Ramsay struck. It's a nightmare that plagues my dreams. But House Forrester is nothing if not resilient. Our house has survived for centuries. Turned back countless threats. Let me help, Uncle. I can't just sit here at the wall while our enemies are circling Ironrath. That's why I'm really here. Do you recall Lord Forrester's last words to you? Yes. Just before he died, Gregor's final command spoken to you in confidence. He said the North Grove must never be lost. Indeed. But first, it must be found. I've been reading his journals. Scouring the legends for any clue what Lord Forrester knew. I think I found the answer. He describes a fortification. A protected citadel of sorts, hidden from the world. One filled with great power. It was scattered among his notes. Almost an obsession. A vital secret he protected at all costs. What do you think, Uncle? Is it real? I have no doubt. It's clear Lord Forrester spent a great deal of time studying the North Grove. He speaks of it as if he'd seen it himself. Somewhere mm. on the other side of the wall. And you the must find side. it, Garrett. Oh, God. The search won't be easy. But you're a Tuttle. Our Lord knew you wouldn't fail him. As do I. Somewhere north of the wall. That's not a lot to go on, Uncle. How am I supposed to find it? The first chance you get to head north, take it. And then? You leave the Night's Watch behind, and strike out on your own. This is no small request I make. I know that. But there's no other choice. Uncle, that's desertion. The Night's Watch execute men who desert. I know. I wouldn't ask this of you if there was another way. This will help guide you. I found it hidden in Lord Forrester's strongbox. What is that? A page from our Lord's journal. Mm. And one he tore out and kept separate. Why? I don't know. It's a map. To the North Grove. Aye. I used to be frightened of where we're trees. But before I was a man grown, I swear, I actually could hear him whispering sometimes. This looks familiar. What is it, Garrett? Talia gave me this. Before I left. Oh. Wait. Lord Forrester gave Ethan a similar one as well. Roderick, mm. too. I wonder. Bloody ice dragon. Gods be good. Now that I would love to see. Hear the werewoods whisper. Oh? You said it was a citadel of some kind. Could this be it? No. No, it couldn't be that easy. It's hidden here somewhere. A mammoth? <laughs> this map's only missing grumpkins and snarks. This can't be real, Uncle. Okay. Look. There's a clasp. Clasp? It must open. I had no idea this was inside. Another werewood. But why? Maybe it's a key. To solving the map. Hmm. Oh no, I mean that that looks like leaves there, so a perfect fit. Maybe it's telling us where to look on the map. Hmm. Where 
that doesn't look right. Maybe try another. No, no. That doesn't seem to work. Oh. It's the mouth hole. Oh. It's the whole map that has to turn. Aye. Wood's mouth, Uncle. Whatever this place is, the North Grove must be near. There's only one way to find out. Here, take this map. Everything we hold dear may well depend on your success. Well, so it's a lot to put on your shoulders. It. The lives of a whole house. You can tell everyone back at Ironrath that Garrett Tuttle has taken up the cause. Your sense of honor is a quality I've long admired, Garrett. God's watch over you. You're the son I never had. Let's go, Garrett. I don't know. Ooh, Probably bell. like little, little shards. I hope to never lift one of those again. Why so? Like a weapon. Well, your piss is like any other liquid, I reckon. Yeah, mine's mostly ale. And if it froze on the way down the wall? Well, that was rather mysterious. A stranger arrives and you're chatting him up. Someone said it was your uncle looking for you. Well, what did he want? Looked like you two had a lot to talk about. Must have been important to come to Castle Black. He's Castellan to House Forester. They sell ironwood to the builders. So you were just talking about lumber all that time? It looked like it gave you something. It, it was nothing. Let's go and celebrate. Already keeping secrets from your brothers, eh? Ah, uh, Garrett's right. The wall's gonna melt before we get up there. Come on. <laughs> well, that's not a very durable wall, then. Even though it's a figure of speech, I know. Trying to make a joke, but how oh, my jokes fall flat. Oh, Mira. There are so many guests already arriving. And have you seen the wedding decorations they put up in the gardens? Mira so Forrester. beautiful. King's Landing. You know, we're as lucky as she is. Marjorie was but a lady when we were sent to serve at High Garden. But in just a few days' time, we'll be attending to a queen at a royal feast. Where we're standing, we'll be able to see everyone. And everyone will be able to see us. I'm sure it will be a wedding for the ages, Sarah. I've been meaning to say what I told you about my family. It means a lot to be able to share that with someone. Mm. Someone I can trust. Mm. If handmaidens don't help each other in King's Landing, nobody will. Thank you, Mira. And you know I'll always help you too. Hold on, look. There he is. Lord Morgren? No, no, next to him. Lord Tarwick. Tarwick. Mm. I don't want to be a handmaiden forever. And this wedding may be the best chance of meeting a husband I'll ever have. I have to go talk to him. Marjorie won't notice her for a few minutes longer. Could you make an excuse for me? Please. I'm not asking for much. Go on then. It'll be fine. The wedding's still days away. Thank you, Mira. I knew I could count on you. What is the cold boy doing? Watching me like this? Definitely stalker vibes. What are you doing here? I know I shouldn't be here, but we have to talk. 
I didn't know when I would see you next. Look, that night, I don't know what might have happened if you hadn't helped me. I could say the same to you, Lady Mira. But I came here to warn you. I was down in Flea Bottom last night when I overheard a couple of Lannister guards talking about... Shh! They already know he's missing. Probably dead. They're questioning people. Searching for his body. It's not safe. For either of us. Please tell me you took care of it. Of course. I told you I would. No one will know what you did. What? What is it? Yeah. If we're going to survive this, there can't be any details we've overlooked. There was another Lannister yeah. guard. He saw me with him in the garden. Oh, oh, no. You need to keep your head down. Stay out of sight for a while. How? Do you forget who I serve? Just don't get in any more trouble. And I'll... I'll watch your back. We're in this together now. Mm. You saved my life. I don't even know your name. It's... It's Tom. Tom. Thank you, Tom. Don't thank me yet, Lady Mira. There's still Cersei. someone out there who saw you with a dead man. I'm freaking, uh, I don't... Sarah. Mira. Sarah. Mira. All this. My lady. Tom. Freaking... Really? Is Tyrion. A tryst in the bushes with that coal boy. Not to say it's wrong, but with all the lords and knights in King's Landing, you just don't want to spoil your chances of a good marriage. At least you're trying to keep it secret. Oh, thank the gods you came along, Sarah. That boy. He fancies me. He'll find any excuse to talk. I just don't have the heart to drive him off. So you misled him? I wouldn't waste the time. Come on. Marjorie expects us at the throne room. We don't want to be late. You can tell me all about this Lord Tarwick on the way. Lord Tarwick. We well, got all these fancy names, and then there's Tom first of all, over his here. His name's Garibald, and he has this really funny. And Garibald. He told me the cleverest story about. And then there's Tom. And I've given the musicians a list of songs to play for Joffrey at the feast. I assume you have no problems with the reigns of Castamere. I trust you've chosen all the standards, but just to be sure. I'll draw up a list of wedding ballads we favor in Highgarden. Your Grace. My Lady. Which reminds me, Joffrey will require his King's Guard close at hand during the feast. I'm afraid we'll have no room for your handmaidens. <gasps> but we. What was that? Do you object? Is that what I heard? I. Uh, if you're going your to Grace, speak out of turn, girl. I. You should finish what you start. We do as you command, Your Grace. And we'll spend the feast wherever it pleases you. You'll spend it mopping the stables, if I please. I Hong asked Kong. your handmaiden here at the Iron Throne, whom she would serve if forced to choose between yourself and the king. She was deferential to the crown then, as she is now. But words are wind. In Not any that. case, it's Words settled. are wind. The king's guard will stay with Joffrey. I need to give your you a ring. will sit hmm? elsewhere. Of course, Your Grace. Anything for my beloved Joffrey. Lady Marjorie, we may not see eye to eye on everything, but I hope you will at least agree with me that our handmaidens should know their place. And that place is not with my brother, Tyrion. What did she mean by that? You and Tyrion? What you do reflects on me. If something's going on, I need to know about it. We only shed some wine, my lady. Drinking wine with Tyrion Lannister. Sarah, what do you know of this? Tyrion approached us, my lady. It was his idea, not Mira's. I don't care what your intentions were, Mira. You went to a Lannister behind my back. I've only ever tried to help you. Why are you making trouble for me? Uh. Please, Lady Marjorie, trust me. I know what I'm doing. 
I've learned from the best. I don't have the time or patience for your games, Mira. Right now, I need you both to be my handmaidens, and that's all I need you to be. Let there be no mistake. If I hear of you speaking so much as a word to Tyrion Lannister again, you can go home to your family. I'm sorry, my lady. I made a mistake. It won't happen again. Please don't send me home. This can't happen again. Well, going down smooth as silk, I see.